This week, Diego Luna stops by to analyze and or we get ready to launch Star Wars The High Republic Phase 2 and more. That means it's time for the news. By this time next week, the first books from Star Wars The High Republic Phase 2 will be out in the world. But how does that help us today, you ask? Earlier this week, we got an exclusive excerpt from Path of Deceit with an early look at the prologue introducing Radhika's Dobbs, also known as Sunshine, and the mother leader of the Path of the Open Hand. You can read it for yourself over on StarWars.com slash this week. But you know, I say that's not enough High Republic fun for today. We're so pleased to bring you the debut of a brand new High Republic animated short. Punch it! 150 years before the Great Disaster, the High Republic embodied the ideals of exploration, technology, and peace. Hyperspace, a dimension of space used to travel across long distances at velocities beyond the speed of light, a mesmerizing means of transportation Prospectors of the High Republic scout the galaxy for these safe throughways to maximize travel and trade. One such prospector is Sunshine Dobbs, who is equal parts brilliant navigator and notorious gambler. When Sunshine gets in over his head, he finds himself on the run and in debt to a force cult called the Path of the Open Hand. In order to bail himself out, Sunshine offers information about a mysterious world he discovered beyond the Outer Rim. Little does he know what he's just gambled with. Light years of exploration await in the High Republic. Keep your eyes peeled for more animated introductions for characters, communities, and other important figures from Star Wars The High Republic Phase 2 on StarWars.com soon. And maybe, just maybe, a new trailer for the initiative. Speaking of new High Republic content, a brand new episode of The High Republic Show is on its way, and we need your help. More like your questions. We'll ask the folks who work on this exciting era directly, but first, you'll need to tweet us your queries using the hashtag below, and maybe your question will be answered in the next episode. Jabba the Hutt has slithered onto the hollow tables as the newest galactic legend. That slimy piece of worm-ridden filth is the latest and largest character addition to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. It's so no surprise that adding Jabba to your team lifts and supports bounty hunter, hot cartel, and smuggler characters. Jabba can even drop an enemy into the Rancor Pit. Handy. Do your best hut laugh when the crime boss enters the game, available now on the Apple and Google Play stores. Earlier this week, Andor analyzed a new series looking at highlights from each episode of Andor arrived on StarWars.com, along with episode guides, databank entries, and other goodies. It's been over a week, so you're probably caught up, but if you haven't watched Andor episodes one through three, you're going to want to launch your own rebel mission to the timestamp below. There'll be spoilers here. We know him as Cassian Andor, but he was once Casa of Canari. In the thrilling three episode premiere event last week, we got a glimpse at Cassian's childhood, living in a strip mine jungle planet with a sister he's still desperately seeking. Lucky for Cassian, he was adopted by Marva and Clem Andor and got to live a happy life of scrapping and salvaging on the world of Ferrix. But Cassian couldn't stop thinking about the past, which led to a shootout on Morlana 1, echoing the first time we met Cassian in Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and led Primor security to his door. Luckily, Cassian's got friends, not you, Tim. And while B2EMO recharged for the 17th time and Brasso agreed to provide an alibi, Vix connected Andor to a mysterious buyer who also helped him escape off-planet when things went south. Watch or rewatch all three episodes on Disney+, Plus, plus the latest installment, which just dropped yesterday. But more on that later. All I can tell you is, feeling a touch of the Moth Madness setting in. We can't get enough of Cassian Andor, and we're so glad he's back! Recently, we sat down with Diego Luna himself to talk about revisiting the role and what it means to the Hispanic community and Luna. One of the most special journeys I've been in as an actor, you know? It represents a lot in my life because it came in the right time. It kind of like helped me reconnect 
with my childhood, uh, with my job, which is something very special. And I know this character represents a lot to many. And it's important that we see ourselves in the screen, that we feel represented, and that the stories we tell reflect on the world that's out there. Out there, there's a diversity that makes us so like reach, you know, there's this cultural and racial diversity that, uh, that we experience uh, every day of our lives. So why not to ask to the stories we see on the screen to represent that, to really work as a mirror, the mirror that storytelling and entertainment should be. I am really happy and really pleased that uh, this is happening. And, and in terms of the character and the journey of the character, there's a lot of what worries me and there's a lot of inspiration all that has to do with my everyday life that is put in this character and, and the story, you know, we're about to tell. For example, no one really asked in Rogue One why Cassian has such a different accent than everyone else. But Cassian is a guy that has been forced to move. He's been migrating, he's a refugee, he can't go back. This story is going to tell us what he left behind, because that is really important in his journey. And to understand the man we meet in Rogue One, you have to understand that, exactly that, what's, what's behind, you know? He talks about being in a fight since he was six years old. Well, we're going to find out why does someone has to miss his childhood? Why someone at six years old has to be part of a fight? Thank you, Diego. You can stop by this week any day of the week, although we're only here on Thursdays. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.